here we are with summertime rendering episode 8 and yeah last episode we saw nagumo or well ryosuke um dealing with the shadows and i don't know this part is confusing i don't know what to tell what to call her do i call her nagumo by like the fake name or do i call her hizuru by like a real name for the sister or say do i say ryosuke for the brother depending on what it is currently it's confusing right so maybe i just say nagumo the fake name i, I don't know I, i'm just used to saying nagumo right now instead of like hizuru or ryosuke um but yeah we saw him her defeating the shadows and then we saw a big change from previous days that we experienced because ushio appeared at night when shinpei was making the curry which also had before a small change when Mio tried to make the curry and then Chimpe took over. So can't wait to see how that turns out with Ushio being there right now. But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. <laughs> what a face. <sighs> I guess this came really unexpected for him. She knows. She can also time travel or something. Uh oh, Mew's coming. Hiding. That's quite different. So she came to warn him, basically, right? <clears throat> but yeah, that would mean that the Ushio here can travel through time. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> oh suspicious <laughs> very suspicious right <laughs> But I mean, what is he supposed to do, right? I mean, you could just eat at the table and then when everything is done, take one and go into his room and give it to Ushio later. That would, that would be less suspicious, I would say. But yeah, it seems like that... Ushio can time travel, knows about what's going to happen, wants to warn Jinpei. Uh, this is getting... So that means that... I mean, it's still a change, right? So that means, how does this work? Did Ushio before the fake one, couldn't she time travel? And this is now the first time that she time traveled since Jinpei got this far? Hmm. It it would seem that way, right? Maybe because Shimpe got that far, she could time travel now too. Maybe. 
Oh, this is getting confusing again. I thought it was just a change because they changed stuff already. But it seems not that way anymore. That it's just a coincidence. <laughs> Man, I'm getting hungry. Oh, damn, he's prepared. Oh, <laughs> you pervert touching my shadow. How dare you? <clears throat> but it's not a bad shadow, right? If we can go by the last time. Shadow punch. I mean, it's a tough decision, right? Can you trust it or not? Do you want to risk it? Oh, he also loves her. I guess this will make it more difficult to try and kill the shadow, right? I mean, technically, he can just risk it, right? And if the shadow kills him, <clears throat> he will just die and can restart, and then he knows, right? For the future. But I mean, that would be another time loss, right? And he would have to redo everything again. The. I can't do it. Yeah, it, it's weird why she is a shadow, but it's, it's like against the other shadows, right? Why did that happen? How did it happen? Why? Oh. The change? Another change?
Oh. Oh my god. <sighs> god damn. So if they drop the clothes they have, then it's just gone. So it is another change. <laughs> well, <laughs> In our hearts. <laughs> Oh my god, I have a bad feeling. Is she gonna get killed? That's a fake one! He realizes the outfit. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hit the shadow, hit the shadow, hit the shadow. And she's dead. Oh. She's not dying from this? That's not gonna help, dude. You have to do better than that. Clear shot for the hunter guy. Injuro. Oh, and now kill the shadow. Go for it. Yes. Slice around this bitch. I would go into the shadow and then just move around. Nagumo, okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. She's different.
and back to normal. <laughs> I just loop again. Yeah. I thought as much, right? That the fake Mew maybe did it. Okay, that's very interesting. You can just erase a body with water? Was it water? If that works, can you just pour it over every shadow and dissolve them? That means there's another Ushio? Because... This is getting very confusing again. But maybe she shares information. Yeah. What? The red star shiny thingy? Which was basically the mother, I think, whatever. Oh boy. sleeping on the floor is so bad it's so painful <laughs> up all night Dang. The necklace.
fake one or real one. We know if there is a fake one, it's he didn't get killed. Because we saw at the night where they got killed that there were two. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> With one missing arm. I mean, imagine, right? You would be surprised if this would happen. And she doesn't. <laughs> So will he tell him everything, even that there will be a copy of him? Which is super weird, right? Because she is a... I mean... Very handy that there's the fingerprint thing. Really? Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, again, interesting, right? Because now we had quite a few changes already with Nagumo being able to kill the parents and the girl with Shinpei's help. Um, and they somehow are connected and can share information from what it seems like. Because now Mio wants to get rid of Shinpei. And goes into the house to kill him and not just goes in front of the house to check out everything, right? To scout, basically. <clears throat> and the whole Mio uh, Ushio thing is very interesting because it seems like she can also time travel now. Because before she never made contact with Shinpei and Shinpei only saw her by accident on the day when the shit went down, right? But now she wants to make contact with him and wants to warn him about what happens in the days. So it seems like she can time travel now. Or oh, she did time travel. I don't know if she can time travel or if she did time travel because maybe somehow because of Shinpei time traveling. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> And the confusing part is literally she has like barely any any memory, right? She doesn't know the password for the smartphone. Or maybe she does, but it got changed. Um, and she can't remember some other things. Um, what was one of the things that she couldn't remember? Uh, let me check maybe really quick. Oops. Um. There was one thing that she couldn't remember, right? Let me see if I can find it really quickly. Um, um, was it here somewhere?
Oh yeah, she can't rem she can't remember the voice recording, right? That she sent to Nagumo. <clears throat> Which is interesting because when she if she has all the mem so there are two things. Either she somehow lost memories, right? Or she only still has the memories from when she copied Ushio, right? And everything after that is stuff she doesn't know about. So <coughs> either she has memory loss and forgot about the recording, voice recording for Nagumo, or it happened after Ushio, after she became the copy of Ushio, right? That after that she made the voice recording. So that is interesting, right? To know if Ushio maybe knew that something was happening after she got copied or not. Or if she just has memory loss. Hmm. Yeah. And also very interesting that you can... What, what did she do? Did she put water on her to get... What did she do? Let me see this. It seems like it's just water. <clears throat> it seems like it's just water that she pours over her arm and that dissolves her arm basically. So if water is a, is like can do that to the shadows, right? Why not just have a water bottle with you and when you see one just fling the water over someone, right? And it just dissolves them. Um or take a hoe with you. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it seems a big weakness, right? If water can do that. So, mm -hmm. just take, like, like I said, just take a few water bottles, bottles with you, open them and just throw it over them, like fling the water at them. Easy. Or some water balloons, right? Easy peasy. Um, if that's like a weakness, literally. If that's really just water, or maybe it's some... Other mixture, I don't know. Um, but yeah, otherwise, more like a calm episode, I would say, right? Not much action, but interesting that the shadows share their information and go over to the attack instead of just scouting and want to get rid of Shinpei. Um, and yeah, Ushio still seems to be a good shadow for whatever reason. I, I'm wondering how... Is she a shadow, but is not like like the other shadows, right? What is different about her? What makes her different? I guess we will find out in the next episode, I would guess. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.